Hello class, this is exercise 4-1, number one, snow people flip hats on page 129 in our Alice textbook. Uh, so we have to write a new world level method for the snow people world that was from used in chapter 2, exercise 3. Um, this new method will be called flip hats. When we call it, the snow snowman will raise his arm, grab his hat, tip it, and then return its hat back to his head and put his arm back in the same position. And then afterwards, the snow woman will do the same exact process. So um, what we need to do is create a, uh, well, I've already created the scene to save some time. And I was playing around with it. And so let me delete that parameter. So um, I have my scene set up, like I said. You should be able to do this, no problem. I don't want to show you how to do this. This is something that by this point in the class you should have um, down packed. What we have to do is have the snowman uh, move towards the snow woman and, and engage her so that she will you know, recognize him. He'll tip his hat and then she'll tip her hat. So I've already got it set up so that it will He'll come over to the snow woman, she'll turn her head, and now we need to do the rest of it. And so we're going to do one method, and it's got to be a world level method. So make sure you have world selected in your tree, and then come down here into the world's details under the methods tab and click create new method. We're going to call this flip hats. Okay. Um, so we have to create three parameters for this. Uh, normally in software design, you would only pass one parameter. Uh, we're talking about an object, so in this case we could pass the snowman, and then within that snowman, you know that there's a head, and on the head there's also a top hat, left eye, right eye, carrot, and his mouth. He also has left arm, right arm, and bottom. So normally that's how you would access the, you could pass an object and then access the properties of that object, or the parts of it. But it's a little bit different for Alice. This is not, you know. This is just a 3D visual um, learning tool for programming, so we have to do it a little bit differently. For each of the objects that we need to manipulate, we're going to have to manipulate the arm. He's going to you know, take his arm and move it up. We're going to have to manipulate the hat. The hat will have to be put into his hand, and then the hand will move back down. The hat will go with it. But we also need to have his head, and I'll explain that and why when we get to it in just a few minutes. So. Let's go ahead and create our parameters. We'll call the first one um, arm, since that's the first object that we're going to be dealing with. Um, the next parameter will be called hat. And make sure these are all object types. And then finally, head. So we have three object types, uh, object parameters. We got an arm, hat, and head. All right, so what do we need to do? We need to um, have his arm move up to his hat. So the first thing we're going to do is instead of normally we would grab the snowman and we'll take his arm, you know, like this, and then we would uh, find the method that we like, like in, you know, roll, and we'd bring it into the window, and that's how we would get it to, you know, do something. But that's not how we're going to do it. Uh, so we're going to use the parameters instead. So object arm is what we're going to drag down here. And so you can kind of guess, I'm going to click off of it. Because we are bringing the object, um, his arm down, then no matter what object it is, if it has an arm, then it will do whatever you know we, we put into it here. So if we pass the snow woman, her arm will move. If we had a robot over here with an arm, it did the same thing. All right, so what we're going to do is grab the arm, drag it down into it. Um, we, we've already, I've already played with it, and I know that it's roll. Sometimes it might be turn, depending on your object type and how you have the orientation set up. So we're going to go to roll, and since it's his right arm, we know it's going to roll left. We need to rotate it up a quarter revolution because his arm right now is sticking straight out parallel to the ground. So we need to move it 90 degrees up towards his head. All right. So we got that part. Now we need to set the vehicle for the hat. 
um, to the arm. So if you remember correctly, the vehicle property is a property that pairs two objects together. So if the top hat, uh, if the vehicle for the top hat is the head of the snowman, then wherever the snowman's head goes, the hat goes with it. So we need to change the vehicle to the arm so that when the arm moves down, the hat goes with it. So let's go ahead and grab the hat and drag it down here. Uh, go down here to set vehicle to. And because we're going to change the vehicle to the head, which is one of the other parameters, right now you can just pick any object that's listed here because that one will not be. Um, let's just pick ground. Now you can grab the head, or I'm sorry, it's already set to head. We need to set it to the arm. So drag the arm and replace ground or whatever you put in there. So now it should say hat, set vehicle to arm. All right. Now we need to move the arm back down. I'm going to copy our first uh, line, which was moving the arm up. I'm going to drag the arm back into the object that's going to be moving. Instead of rolling left, we're going to roll right. So now we've got it. The first, the first line rotates the arm up. The second line takes the hat, puts it in his heart, his arm essentially over his hand and then the third line takes the arm and rolls it right down and since the vehicle is set to um, arm the hat goes with it all right so now he's tipped his hat off now we need to put the tip the um, hat back so we can basically take all three of these actions and do it again we're going to copy the first one drag it back down i'm going to make the arm back in there so it's arm, roll left, and it's the same exact one. We're rolling it left, back up to his head. Let's copy the second line. Drag that down. Um, now we can set the hat. This is where we need to set the hat's vehicle to the back to the head. All right. And now we need to copy the third line and bring it down to the end. So you have, and then we need to bring arm right here. So we have three actions to take the hat off, and then we have three actions to put the hat back on. So how do we get the snowman to do that? In our regular, uh, my first method, let's go ahead and drag our method that we just created into the window and populate the parameters with the specific objects that we want to manipulate. So the first one is going to be the snowman. So we have to do this in order. This is going to be a little tricky. Um, just take some getting used to since we have three parameters. The uh, Alice is looking for us to fill all three of those parameters. Um, you could do um, you know a bunch of different things and then just go back and change it. But, you know, let's just go ahead and, and, and select it. So we need to go to snowman the first, and it goes in order. So it's arm, hat, head. So we need to go to snowman arm, and it's his right arm. And normally you would just pick that, but since we have another parameter, another window opens up. This one is going to be hat, so we go to snowman, head, and then top hat. And then we have head. Snowman head, entire head. So now we've let go. Let's just make sure, let's look at it. The arm is the snowman's right arm. The hat is the snowman's top hat. And the head is the snowman's head. Let's go ahead and drag our flip hats again in here. And this time, let's do the snow woman. So we're going to do the arm first. And then we're going to do the hat second and then the head last so these should look similar uh, snow woman right arm snow woman head hat um, for the snowman it's top hat for the snow woman it's just hat and then head so let's see what happens when we play this snowman turns he moves over to the snow woman she turns her head 
He grabs his hat, tips it, puts it back on, returns his head. She tips her hat, returns her her arm. And that is exactly what we expected and what we wanted. And that's it for this one. Uh, just let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I'm available to talk to you um, online or during my office hours if you have any um, you know, problems with this exercise and need some additional help. Um, I hope this helps. Thanks.